All right, guys, welcome to Trong, another city. I've I passed through it, but I've never actually stopped here, so this will be a first time. We're going to see exactly what the incredible city of Trong has to offer. All right, guys, I'm driving around Trong. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of places here in Trong are closed. A lot of stuff I wanted to do, like the Jungle Canopy Walk, is closed. But it's got a pretty cool downtown. Like, if you look, there's the central clock tower. Uh, there's some cool shops. Stop, stop. And they've also got those stoplights that yeah, keep you stopped for a long time. Like, look at that. Over 100 seconds. Although, this isn't as bad as Hot Yai. Hot Yai had us stopped for almost 200, so... At least so far, it doesn't seem as bad, and they're not as frequent. Alright guys, I arrived at my accommodation in Trung. This hotel looks a little bit, um... I don't know, it looks sort of nice, but at the same time, it looks a little sketchy. I don't, I don't know. We'll see what it's like. It's probably not super touristy. Surprisingly, like when I booked the hotel, this one was pay at the desk. I didn't have to make payment online. So I don't know if I like that better or worse, we'll see. Ah, oh, Swadi Club. I have a reservation here. Yes, I have a reservation here for one night. One night? Yes. I don't know how I feel about it. Looking around this hotel looks sort of nice, but at the same time, a little scary. Yeah, look at that. Oh look, here's the toilet. Let's take a look at it. Oh boy. All right, now let's go up to my floor. Oh, the elevator apparently works. Alright, well, this looks a little spooky. This looks like something out of a horror movie. I sure wonder what my room is going to look like. So I walked around my accommodation, I took a look at what at what the room and the place was like, and I, I wasn't super satisfied with it, but in the end it's a little bit funny. Luckily I'm only at this place for one night, so I can just look at this as a funny memory. Anyhow, I'm going to look around Trong and see what else this place has to offer. Alright guys, I found a nice food park shopping area. 
It's at Robinson's in Central Throng. And some of the places are closed maybe due to COVID. A lot of restaurants in the area were closed, but there are some places here that you can get food. All right, guys, so I got some catfish curry here with a beautiful fried egg on top. Got some bitter melon. Oh, man, I can hardly wait to go dig into this. I had some of the catfish at the restaurant yesterday, and man, it was just too good. All right, we're gonna give this a try. Uh, we wait. Oh yeah. That's a fresh fish, but you guys gotta be careful of the bones. There are little bitty bones in here. They can be pretty sharp sometimes. It's cooked. I don't know how bad it would be if you actually swallowed these bones, but you just gotta be careful. Oh yeah, look at that fried egg with the runny yolk. Oh man. You, look at that. Oh. Alright guys, so I got another dish here. It's called the Kalman Guy. And I guess it's basically like rice. It's got some chicken along with the skin on top. It's got some bitter melon and we've got a couple of sauces. There's like a sweet sauce and then there's a more spicy sauce. I'm gonna try a little bit of this by itself. Let's see what I think. gives it some sweetness. I like it that this one's not super spicy. I think this one is more spicy. I'm gonna try the more spicy sauce. Um, I hope I'll still be alive after this one. Let's see. Let's punch that in there. That's definitely the more spicy sauce. But I'm still alive. I'm still alive, guys. I love it that they give you some bitter melon on the side. This goes great.
I think I'm about done eating here. Or is it still recording? Sure. All right, I think I'm about done eating here. The food here was pretty good. Um, I think the night market tonight should be open since it is Sunday. So I'm gonna go to the night market a little bit later and see what it has. All right guys, so I am now at a Sunday night market. It is right next to Trong Railway Station. And yeah, they have a market here by the railway station every Sunday, I believe. So I'm gonna see what goodies they have over here. Oh, look at that. I think I got some of that in Patani. Oh, look at that. Got some Muslim food. I think most stuff at this market I've been able to find at other markets. Although, who knows, every place I feel has their own uh, hidden specialties. They got something on a stick. I don't, I don't know what that is, but who knows. Oh, there's some dumplings. I don't know what that is. Ooh, they got like waffles. Oh, those look good. Oh look, they got like a little dessert cart. I'm probably gonna wanna get some of those. We'll see. All right, guys, so at a street stall, actually right there, I got some dim sum. So they give you a little dim sum. I think this is filled with pork. They put a little soy sauce in there. Uh, I'm gonna try this and see what it's like. Oh man, they really soaked this part. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh wow, that's good. I don't think it's soy sauce, it's, it's kind of sweet and it's kind of spicy at the same time. So just right there, at this street stall, I ordered two fresh made waffles with uh, bits of shredded coconut. So uh, I'm gonna get one of these. Oh man, I think it's a little bit hot. Oh yeah, yeah, it's very hot. But here, I'm gonna hold it in this plastic, look at that. Look at that waffle. Oh man. So I need to hold it with a plastic because if I do my fingers so long, it's gonna burn me. Oh yeah. Look at that. They got um, they got coconut inside. Oh man. It actually tastes a lot like French toast. It's so good. Oh man. All right, guys. So I've also got some Thai tea that I picked up in one of these stalls. Look at that. It's got those uh, boba in it. And it's cold, so I, this has got to be good. I like Thai tea. And it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's perfect. This is like a perfect thing for me right now.
Well, all right, well, it's getting pretty late in the evening. I think this is the perfect time to end the video. I want to say to you guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Uh, I'm going to be posting some more videos. I think I'll be in Krabby again. This is going to be my second time in Krabby. So uh, please stay tuned for what I do in Krabby. And uh, check out these links to some of my other videos. And uh, keep cool, guys. Thank you.